What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, talking today about the fact that Bethesda is now officially making an Indiana Jones game. This is completely real, this is quite a shock, but what's perhaps even a bigger shakeup is I think this game might be an Xbox and PC exclusive. But let's try and look at the facts. So here's what I'm looking at. This was just revealed minutes ago. As you can see, this is the official teaser trailer over here on the Bethesda Twitter accounts. Now, if you look at the trailer itself, it doesn't have too many details. It's just a lot of maps. It's a lot of cool diagrams showing the fact that Bethesda themselves is making it. But if you look at the trailer, there is this. And I feel like this is actually a very big indicator about the game itself. Lucasfilm Games. This is going to be officially licensed. This is the next Indiana Jones games and this is actually a pretty big development because just yesterday Lucasfilms was announced. This is basically where Disney has now said well we're going to be taking the licenses that we own stuff like Star Wars Marvel and stuff and we're going to be giving it to different people because I think we realized this currently the only people for the last couple of years that were even legally allowed to make Star Wars games was Electronic Arts and they kind of sucked at it. Some of their stuff was good, like, of course, the their uh, new Jedi Fallen Order. That was freaking great. But if you look at something like Battlefront 2, that game completely sucked. So clearly what Disney was wanting to do is take the properties back and give it to different people to see different interpretations of their stuff. So the fact that this is a Lucasfilm Games project is very interesting. But what I'm more stirred up about is this, the people who are actually making it. It is being done by Machine Games, baby. That's the people that did all of the Wolfenstein games. And and let's face it, killing Nazis is endlessly fun. Mowing down these freaking awful people is such a freaking glorious, gory mess, and I love it so much. And that's also what Indiana Jones is about. Now, full disclosure, don't get mad at me in the comments. I've never seen an entire Indiana Jones movie. Not Crystal Skull, not uh, uh, Tomb, you know, uh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's one of the names of the movies, right? I literally, do, I'm not that big of a movie person. I just realized I'm wearing my movies shirt. Anyways, the point is that that's part of the reason why I'm excited about this is that first and foremost, I am a gamer. I want to see stuff explored in the gaming medium. I'm kind of curious what form this game is going to take. But now let's talk about exclusivity. Now this is something that was actually pointed out by Jez Corden. Jez Corden, still one of my favorite freaking writers. This guy writes over here for Windows Central. Super freaking nice guy. Well, first he actually noticed the fact that during the most recent uh, announcements being done by Todd Howard. Todd Howard is, of course, the Bethesda guy. This is the dude that's been in charge of Fallout and Skyrim and all that. He does in the back have the... Uh, the thing from Raiders of a Lost Ark. I, I think I've seen this melt some faces. And then the thing from the idol switching. God, I need to watch Indiana Jones. But look at this. Despite the Xbox acquisition, I think Indiana Jones could be multi-platform due to Lucasfilm's involvement licensed in IP. Basically saying... Disney wants to make the most money possible. Obviously, right? We all want to make money, right? That, that's why we're here. That's why we exist in this capitalist society. But what if maybe Disney is going to be having what is now a Microsoft studio? Because remember, there is the Bethesda acquisition. It seems like even though Microsoft may be making this with the studio Bethesda, what if they're still going to make it multi-plat just to try and crank up that freaking value to make sure that Disney is still making the most bang for their buck? But additionally, there is this. The fact that PlayStation hasn't retweeted it yet could also hint at the contrary. For those wondering, Xbox PC exclusivity will have to wait and see. Now, this is actually something he tweeted 20 minutes ago. Just for fun, right now, I am going to look at... Let's look at the PlayStation Twitter account right now. Okay, I'm looking at the PlayStation Twitter account. Yeah, the PlayStation Twitter account still has not retweeted it. So, it does seem to kind of hint that maybe this is an exclusive, but it's definitely going to be several years away. Like, even in their tweet itself, they basically said, This is a very, very long way away. Before we have more to reveal, we're excited to share the news today. This is cool. It's kind of just an exciting future for it, and... I'm hoping that the project is good. I'm very confident because it is Machine Games. 
I am going to laugh because there is going to be so many little Zoomers, these younger gamers who are straight up going to be like, oh, is this an Uncharted ripoff? And all the boomers are just going to die. They're going to wither up and turn into dust and blow away. All right, I'm going to go watch some uh, Indiana Jones movies, I guess, or there's probably an Indiana Jones comic. I'll probably look at that. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. This is totally random. I am absolutely obsessed right now with Risk of Rain 2. If you've never played this game, holy hell, why is this so fun? It's one of those roguelikes. It's got like randomized buffs and cool machine guns. It's, it's one of those games that I keep playing and playing and playing because every time I play it, it's so different. I love this kind of genre. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.